Welcome back. Today we're going to look at look aheads and differentiate just looking ahead and matching with replacing and how that works differently. So I've already cleared my environment and using grep and gsub, I think both use this gsub fn library. Uh, you can see that I ran it. I'll run it again and loaded it the first time. Didn't need to load it just now. So if you're following along in the book, uh, this is on page 91. And to start with, I'll load in an example character string to work with. And it'll be just A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, F. And we'll run that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is grep, which is just to match it and not to replace anything and we'll use the look ahead which is put in parentheses the question mark equals DE so we're going to be searching for the match of ABC where it is before DE so we would expect and I'll also put in we're looking in the example string where Perl equals true so we would expect it to only find this one here. Uh, did I run it? I did run the example. Now we'll find grep. So it finds the string location is the second string, and that's true. So to see how this would be different with grep without the look ahead, it will still find just that middle one. So let's run it. It finds just the second one. So the main difference of this comes up when we do G sub because G sub needs to have the substitute. So say we were going to replace with X, Y, Z so with gsub it's only replacing the part that it's matching and it's not replacing the part that it's looking ahead to so it'll still find just this one but it will only replace just the match part and there it replaced just the xyz and not the de let's also look at two short examples to see how this uh, how look at ahead also affects whether something is consumed. So G sub, and this time we'll look for anything that comes before, so it's looking ahead for E, and because I put them in the parentheses, we can back reference it and we'll say whatever it found put it uh, replace it with two of them example we want it to be compatible with Perl so what are we expecting this to do uh, anything before E so it will not do anything to this one it will uh, double the D so it'll put D in twice and it'll do nothing in the last one run it and that did exactly what we expect it to so one more small example to see how this would function what I'm gonna do is I'll just copy this one to go quickly and what I'd like to do is put an E in the middle this one's an E at the end, and this one's an E at the beginning. So I'll run that, and then I will run the same G sub. So it's going to look for any E, anything that's followed by an E. So this one is followed by an E. This one is followed by an E. And this one has nothing before it, so nothing will happen there. So let's run that. Oh, need to put uh, example two 
it ran it with example one, or the first example, and that did nothing different. Okay, so there it doubled what came before the E, doubled what came before the E, and nothing happened. So that's where we'll stop that one.